hello everyone welcome back to my channel today I came back with something different I came out by the house of Rasasi Rasasi perfumes industry it's a family owned business in Dubai founded in 1979 they're creating some of the best and most exclusive fragrances which have established a worldwide reputation for quality luxury and elegance and because of that they are aggressively growing their products are exported to more than 50 countries across the globe through a very strong distribution network. And one of their finest products is Derish. That's the name of it. Derish is for men. There's another one for women, but this one is for men. Um, yeah, some people might find it difficult to pronounce the name. It's an Arabic name, actually. Derish. Uh, but yeah, that's the name of it. Uh, that is just an oriental fragrance for men. <coughs> okay. That's spicy. Hmm. Okay. Um, mm, I feel a little bit high. Okay. Um... Uh, what people say is, um, say there's a, a similarity between this one and Valentino V. Okay, the answer is no. Um, it's different than Valentino V. Also in the opening, uh, the opening, the opening notes in Valentino V. One of the opening notes in Valentino V is um, pink pepper. And here, this is spicy here. It's spicy opening. Uh, and also here, there's. Um, cardamom and cumin yeah it is you can you can smell cumin it's it's different um but some people might not like the smell of cumin says nah that's not my thing that's not for me okay even if you don't like the smell of cumin uh that's in the first notes i mean the opening notes so you can just give it like 10 minutes maximum and it will evaporate and it's gone then you don't have to worry about uh, cumin uh, and then comes the heart notes and bass notes, which is the even more interesting than first notes. The heart notes and bass notes here are uh, rose, oris root, oris root. I hope I pronounce it right. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and then comes sandalwood, and then patchouli, patchouli, amber, musk, and vanilla tonka bean and the last one the last one is the most interesting note here it's not in um in valentine v and i think it's not in any other fragrance as well as far as i know um that's why i said is there's no similarity between this one and valentine v valentino v um this this last note is called artemisia that's the name of it it's a uh, historic plant uh, Artemisia is also well known as mug, um, mugwort that's another name mugwort so Artemisia it takes your dreams higher how does Artemisia take your dreams higher okay uh, in ancient Egyptian times uh, that's one way my Egyptian t-shirt no um, in ancient Egyptian times there was a dream world, and that dream world existed between the land of the living and the world on the other side. So it was in between. The ancient Egyptians believed so strongly about the power of dreams to foretell the future and offer advice. Some of those dreams were straightforward and easy to understand. Like that dream the ancient Egyptian king Thutmosis III had, he said he was a young man and in his sleep, Sphinx came to him in his dream. And he said, he should clear away the sand that was covering it, and in return, uh, he can rule the land as a great pharaoh. This message was clear and unequivocal. So, uh, in order to communicate with the other world, so you gotta be high. So, in a normal state of mind like mine now, I mean, if you're not high, you cannot communicate with him, and you cannot have vivid dreams or lucid dreams, as they call it. What did he smoke? What did they smoke? All of them, in order to communicate with the other world. Um, that wasn't uh, that wasn't um, only in Egypt uh, with the ancient Egyptians. Same thing happened in ancient Greece. They did the same thing. They had a similar ritual. Uh, in order to communicate with the other world, they gotta 
be high. And what did they smoke? They smoke mugwort or artemisia. One of the notes here. Um, it doesn't mean that you're going to get high when you buy this one because some of you, I know some of you would want to buy it just because they want to get high. No, it doesn't make you high. Um, <laughs> um, that wasn't the point I was trying to make. The point I was trying to make here is Artemisia here, you cannot find in a uh, Valentino V. That was the, that was my point. And uh, Artemisia gave this one a certain distinctiveness, made it very special. So those who say um, there's a similarity between this one and uh, Valentino V, no, no. Here's Artemisia. Give it a try, baby. Try for yourself and um, I'm sure you're gonna love it. Price is also very fair, uh, easy to get, and you won't get high. I'm just letting you know now, you won't get high, okay? So um, that was the video, <laughs> that was the video today, and I uh, hope this made you again. <laughs>